What's up guys, today we're going to be doing a review of the Under Armour Speed Swift 2. Now this is not something I typically do, however, when I was shopping for this particular shoe, I couldn't find a review anywhere. There were very, very little reviews, the reviews that were up were just like, I like them. No video reviews on YouTube, so I'm going to do my due diligence and review this bad boy because it is a fantastic shoe. One of my favorite shoes I've had in a very, very long time for many reasons, so Let's get right into this bad boy. So, for me, buying shoes is not very fun. I wear a size 15 wide, which really limits my shoe selection. It's hard for me to find shoes in size 15 wide. Now, what I normally do is I normally buy uh, Nike running shoes, like the Nike Pegasus, for example. I can get that in a size 15 wide. It's expensive. I have to do it through Nike ID. However, you know, I like them. It's a good shoe. And I'm pretty brand loyal in that way. If I find something I like, I'm generally going to come back. However, Nike has raised the price on the Pegasus, and in order for me to get a size 15 wide, I have to do it through Nike ID, which is cool. However, it's $160. I have a breaking point. At $160, I'm going to start shopping around. So, uh, I noticed that a lot of my coworkers have been wearing Under Armour shoes, and Under Armour is kind of a brand that I've neglected ever since I stopped playing football and stopped wearing the actual like Under Armour stuff that went under your football pads, hence the name Under Armour. Um, you know, never, never really uh, tried out their shoes. They're relatively new to the shoe game compared to, you know, Nike and Adidas and stuff. I think they've been making them for five, maybe ten years now. I don't know. They haven't been in the shoe game that long. So, decided I would shop around for, uh, for shoes. And I, I came across these bad boys. And uh, I really, really liked the look. I love the colorway of this. Black, gray, white, and red. It's a uh, pretty, pretty good set of colors. It's very neutral. You can wear it with anything. Um, you know, it's fun to get like crazy shoes that are all types of different colors, but it kind of, you know, you can't, you can't wear these. Like I can wear these to work and get away with it. Uh, you can't wear some crazy fucking purple and orange shoes and get away with it. And you can wear pretty much any color shirt. You can wear anything and wear, you know, something with neutral colors like this. So really like the colorway. Um, now let's get into the reasons why I like this particular shoe a lot. Number one, value. Uh, getting a size 15 wide in basically any shoe, uh, these companies just extort the hell out of us Shrek looking motherfuckers. Uh, it's usually really expensive to get a, a shoe as big as what I need. This, 75 bucks. 75 bucks. I can get two pairs of these for the price of one pair of Pegasus and still have like 15 bucks left over. Great value. Another reason I like this, um, you have a high degree of size selection. So you can get these in a 15 wide, all the way up to a 15 wide, all the way up to a normal size 15. So you got a lot of choices. You know, buying shoes for me is not fun. I really appreciate the fact that I can get these in a 15 wide. Uh, number two, um, this doesn't, unfortunately, this doesn't affect me, but in the normal size 15s, you have a lot of colorway selections. There are a ton of different colorways you can choose from. A lot of them are pretty cool. Unfortunately, if you're getting the 2E version, you only have three to choose from. Luckily, in my opinion, this is the best one out of all of them. Um, and this one is available in the 2E, but you can get the all black, the all white, and then this one in the 2E. And for the normal sizes that aren't extra wide, you can get a ton of, ton of different colors. So that's neat. Another reason I like these bad boys, um, they're comfortable. That, that's obvious, right? Uh, but they're comfortable and they are uh, comfortable to run in and more importantly, uh, comfortable to lift in. So uh, New Balance, for example, New Balances, I'm a fan of that as well because they sell wide, wider sizes as well. Those are great to run in. However, when it comes to lifting in them, uh, they're not the greatest because you're kind of pretty high off the ground. It's like you're, it's like you're walking on mattresses when you wear New Balances. And that's, that's great when you're walking or running or doing some sort of cardio, but when you're doing like heavy overhead stuff, you do not want to be on stilts. You don't want to be walking on mattresses when you're doing heavy overhead presses or uh, any sort of, you know, heavy lifting just because it's a higher risk of injury. So with these, and this is something that surprised me, is that you look at them and you're like, wow, you know, you're, you would think you'd be pretty high up or you'd think you'd feel like you're pretty high up because there's quite a bit of this foam, but um, I don't know how they did it, but when you actually wear them, you feel pretty grounded, pretty low to the ground. So when I was doing heavy overhead work or deadlifts and stuff, I, I have no issues lifting in these. So I appreciate that uh, a lot because, um, you know, just wear one, you know, 
worry about risking it and um, so yeah that's an unexpected benefit. So another unexpected benefit of these is that they actually stay relatively clean pretty easily and that's something that I was concerned with at first because you've got this white midsole and uh, the, the backs are white but for whatever reason this foam it actually, it's, I guess it's not porous enough to really get that dirty. Now I'm not running around in the mud in these things obviously, but um, I've put, I'd say 14 miles on these and I wear them to work. So 14 miles plus whatever I do walking around and they're, they're pretty clean. And uh, the only spot that I, that actually ended up getting dirty and I actually cleaned it off was the very back of the heel, like right here where, you know, your heel strike area is um, that was dirty but I literally just got a wet paper towel and it wiped right off so this foam it you know that, that's something I was concerned with is that it was gonna get crazy dirty and yellow and do all that right uh, but I guess it's not porous enough to really stain so it's neat that's something I was not expecting so I don't really have any cons for this shoe I've been wearing it for a week and I don't see any obvious signs of where they're gonna become problem areas um, but you know, only time will tell if this white begins to yellow or if it eventually starts to get stained up. But when I uh, tested it, now I didn't, I didn't spend time cleaning the, the backs of this because it's just going to get dirty again. Right. But I did a little test and you know, I could clean the back of it off too and make it, you know, almost factory new white. So, um, yeah, my only real complaint is that I wish they had the same colorway selection in the 2E size that they do for the normal sizes. And that's, that's wishful thinking. I mean, obviously the 2E size is more of a niche thing for us big dudes. Um, and I'm not expecting them to give us the full colorway. I mean, it would just be nice. I mean, come on, I'm just saying. I mean, that's the only thing I could really come up with that's, that kind of sucks. Um, so yeah, Under Armour fucking killed it with this. I, uh, I'm going to be definitely paying attention to Under Armour when it comes to shoes more often. Because Nike, man, oh, I love Nike shit, but Jesus Christ, it has gotten expensive. So be sure to check out the Under Armour Speed Swift 2. I will link to both of these products in the description below. The extra wide version is actually a separate product. It's a separate shoe. It's not in the size selection. So the 2E version is a separate shoe from the normal version. So I'll link to both the normal version and the 2E version. Uh, Amazon links down below. Check it out. Very impressed. Love the color. Uh, and I've been getting a lot of compliments, and I know it's it's vain, and I know it's, uh, I don't know, I, I know it's stupid, but it, it feels nice when, you know, I've had a lot of people go, whoa, what are those? In, in a good way, not like the, what are those? But like, whoa, what are those? Anyway, um, so that's my review of the Under Armour, Under Armour Speed Swift 2. Check them out. Uh, great value. Fantastic value. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.